Let's take a look at what's coming to your big screens as well as your small screens this April. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt's Monthly Movies. If they hear you, they hunt you. A Quiet Place starring Emily Blunt and John Krasinski, who you may know from The Office, are a couple haunted by mysterious creatures who hunt by sound. The film has overwhelmingly positive reviews so far, praising John Krasinski, who is also directing, and interestingly is married to Blunt in real life. Blockers, a comedy in which a group of parents try to stop their children from losing their virginity on prom night. Blockers stars Leslie Mann and John Cena, and speaking of muscles, Rampage, starring Dwayne Johnson, follows a zookeeper with an unbreakable bond with a silverback gorilla named George, who is looked after since birth. However, a genetic experiment goes wrong and causes George to grow into an overbearing monster. But matters get even worse when other overgrown creatures threaten the Earth. Rampage is based on the 1980s arcade game of the same name, and to say they fleshed out the almost non-existent storyline of the game is an understatement. Now for a game of truth or dare. Lucy Hale from Pretty Little Liars plays the harmless party game until the players who tell a lie or refuse the dare start being punished by someone or something. To be honest, it sounds as stupid as it does amazing. Avengers Infinity War sees the squad of superheroes along with some new friends putting it all on the line to take down the big bad Thanos before he brings chaos and destruction to the entire universe. Now heading to our smaller screens on Netflix, we have the return of Lost in Space. Colonists are stranded on an unknown alien world far away from their intended destination, and they'll have to come face to face with the many dangers the planet has to offer, as well as their own personal demons. Dude is a Netflix original movie again starring Lucy Hale, this time with three of her best friends navigating major life events in the weeks leading to the end of high school in this coming of age comedy. Let me know what you were most looking forward to this month in the comments. But until next time, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all.